Welcome to the podcast, voted one of the best in the marketing research industry in 2019 and 2020, and this year listed as one of market researchers' top YouTube video locations by Feedspot. This is Research Business Daily Report. We're the only daily research news video giving you information about an important story every Monday through Thursday most weeks. We do depend, to some extent, on viewer support, so we hope you will pitch in at patreon.com forward slash rbdr, but more about that later. My name is Bob Letterer, and I'm in my 27th year as the respected voice in market research. A while back, we all learned that the apps that we download, particularly social media apps, on mobile phones serve a secondary purpose that is really not in the individual's best interests. And now CNBC's Tom Hiddleston Jr. reports on a recent study from mobile marketing company URL Genius. It uncovered the two biggest culprits that are collecting gobs of personal data that are not really doing individuals most good. The two social media sites, YouTube and TikTok. This project revealed that YouTube amasses individuals' personal data for business purposes, such as tracking online history and location, in order to serve relevant ads, which is not something that we didn't already realize. But then there is TikTok. It's owned by ByteDance, a dominant Chinese tech operation, and what they're doing may be a lot more nefarious when it comes to personal information. It mostly allows third-party trackers to gather data, and what those undetected unseen trackers do with the unspecified data they collect is really anyone's guess. That data is connected to each mobile user's physical location, among other things. And mucking up the situation further is the fact that those third parties that can track you can do so even after you exit the original infecting app. A complementary concern with TikTok is the fear that it can share user data with Chinese companies, including its parent organization. And that sharing is actually laid out in its privacy policy. Former President Donald Trump wanted to ban TikTok in the United States, specifically because of those security policies. And now, President Biden has ordered a review of potential security threats posed by all foreign apps. That wraps up today's Research Business Daily Report. As we mentioned at the start of today's video, we'd love for you to become an RBDR Patreon supporter, which basically means that you'd agree to provide a monthly contribution of what size only you can really make a decision about. Please visit our exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash RBDR, and there you can select whatever level of support that might be. Thank you very much for even considering. We hope you have a good research day, and we will be back here tomorrow awaiting your return. Until then, please stay safe.